chapter 9 is about decimals. So uh, the first lesson is technically multiplying by tens, hundreds, thousands, and their multiples, or multiplying by 10, by 100, and by 1,000, and its multiples. Okay, so which means here, since we're multiplying by 10, we can move the decimal place, one place to the right, as we learned previously, but the difference is before it was whole numbers. So if it's whole numbers, what happens is you just add a zero. So, but that's literally what you're doing, moving the decimal place to the right. Okay, so if you're multiplying by 100, that means move the decimal place two places to the right. Okay, and finally, if you're multiplying by 1,000, you move three places to the right. So the way that I remember it is the number of zeros tells you the number of places to move. Okay, so um, if we're multiplying, it's to the right. Okay, uh, also when we're multiplying by multiples of tens, uh, hundreds, and thousands, we just drop the zeros first, multiply first, and then count the number of zeros, then move the decimal place after. Okay, so again, with the exercises, we should be able to see those. Um, and finally, we need to remember that the kids are allowed to use calculators. So there will be problems that they will need their calculators. But if the problem doesn't have a calculator figure, that means they have to do it manually without the calcu. Okay, so our problems comes from many pages, uh, starting with page 10, 12, 16, and 19. Okay, so on page 10, Okay, so if we look at, these are the numbers that we will be discussing, starting with page 10, it says find the missing numbers. Okay, so if I look at this, it moved one decimal place to the right. So that means this must be a 10. Okay, if I look at this, I'm moving one decimal place to the right to get 264. So that means that would have been 26 point. 47. Okay, if I look at this, as I said a while ago, what we want to do is multiply without the zeros. So if I take 0. 0.6 times 4, that's 2.4. Then move the zero one place to the right makes it 24. Okay, so again, huh, if there's a zero, cover it first, multiply without the zero. 0. 0.6 times 4 is 2.4. Since there's one zero, I move it one place to the right. 2.4 becomes 24. Okay, similarly, if I look at this, if I cover, that will be, now again, if I can't do it mentally, I'll put it on the side. So 0. 0.312 times 6. So that will be 12, that will be 7, that will be 18. There's three decimal places. So that would be 1.872, but since there's one zero, that means that would be times 10. And when I multiply by 10, I just move the decimal one place to the right. So 18.72. Okay. Similarly, here, this one's easy. All we need to do is, since it's 100, move the decimal two places to the right. So our answer will be 125.9. Okay. And... Here, move two places to the right. One, two is 400 and, oops, this is times 1,000. So which means move three places. So if it's three places, then that means this will be five and then we add a zero. So again, here, I wrote it down as 100, but the problem is as 1,000. So let's put the zero. That means that's three places to the right. Okay, and... Finally, in this uh, set of numbers on page one, uh, page 19, it says find the missing numbers. So it goes step by step. So here, what's missing here is technically 3 because 0.4 times 3 times 1,000 is times 3,000. That's here. So they want you to multiply first. That would make it 1.2. 
and then move the decimal three places to the right. So when you move the decimal three places to the right, that would be, I'll put it here, one, two, three. So that means that will be 1,200. Okay, and finally, if I look at this, um, if I can't do it mentally, I have to put it on the side. So this will be 3.351 times 2. That's 2. That's 10. That's 7. So that's technically 0 0.702. Okay, however, there's two zeros. So moving the decimal place two places to the right means that the answer must be 70.2. So again, when we're multiplying by 10, hundreds, or thousands, all we need to do is move the decimal to the right, the number of zeros. If they're multiples of 10, hundreds, and thousands, then that means what we need to do is drop the zeros first, multiply without the zeros, then count the number of zeros, and then move your product, the number of places, to the right. That concludes lesson one of chapter nine. See you in the next lesson.